Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> we're doing we're doing fucking a okay. We're definitely not going insane in the apocalypse. We are probably. Sub nerd amigos, I'm the Jive Talking Nerd John Norcroft. We have wife here. We're gonna talk about. Uh, we're gonna talk about some stuff. What are we talking about? We're talking about what uh, the internet is calling Black Wednesday. Uh, wow, I hadn't heard that one yet. That's yeah. that I seems save, a little. I was saving it. That seems a little overly dramatic in my personal you. Well, there's belief, a, a, I've got a list go. of a list. Uh, uh, 31 people, so that's a pretty okay. big list. Let's, let's what, clarify what we're what talking about. What is the number here? of people that have to be let's, let's, let's clarify let what we're go talking about from a company for it to be called black? Sounds like we're talking uh, about murder. Okay. We, uh, so, uh, we saw all the list of people that were uh, let go from WWE today, and we're like, what? We're talking about wrestling. Yeah. There we go. So these are WWE we superstars. Are going insane in the apocalypse. And that's true. So these are WWE superstars, managers, backstage people, training wrestlers, and, and other uh, bits and bobs of people around that were all just recently let go. From... And by recently, we mean today. Oh, like today. Yeah, sorry. We're like reacting to this right Throughout the now. day. Today. Yeah, we decided um, to wait until the last one had a little bit of time to die down. And technically, there could still be more in the coming days. Uh, but this yeah. is at least the ones that we got that happened today. Yeah. Um, and it's not uncommon to see them release a bunch of people right after WrestleMania or yeah, a yeah. pay-per-view. And, I mean, with everything that's happening right now, I imagine that they're losing Whoa. a ton of money um, you know, in lost ticket sales yeah. and merch and everything yeah. else. Um, you know, so none of this is really surprising that they're letting go of people. But the amount of people and who they're letting go is that's really the, uh, the that's crazy kind of a, thing. That's kind of a crazy thing. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I'm going to rattle off... Um, um, I'm gonna rattle off a few names, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll we'll kind of talk talk more about them. So, uh, Kurt Hawkins, Leo Rush, uh, EC3, Carl Anderson, Luke Gallows, Aiden English, Kurt Angle, Drake Maverick, Heath Slater, Eric Young, and Fit Finley were um, some of the people let go. Yeah, and they were they were first thing. Now, of course, a lot of these people are like not so like like Kurt Angle on here, right? Like, yeah, so he, he's, he's behind he's, the scenes. He's behind the scenes. He he retired from being on yeah. screen. Honestly, I didn't even know he was still uh, employed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, did. I figured he was like I retired. I figured he retired. was like done. Yeah, um, I was really surprised to see Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. About a year ago, they asked for a release in their contract um, because they were having creative differences with where the WWE was taking them, and they pr and they please baby don't go to them. Uh, and then they stayed, and a little bit a year, a little bit like uh, after a year later, now they're getting let go of. Also, they were just at WrestleMania, uh, so what the hell? Yeah, and in general, because they're 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 the OC, right? Yeah. Okay, so they're the OC, uh, which is what's his name's little AJ powwow? Styles. AJ Styles. Uh, AJ Styles' little power. Fucking. I cannot stand <sighs> AJ Styles, uh, but I'm so Fucking... sad that these guys got. <laughs> Like Fucking booted too, dirt by and Kyle. I mean, really, I'm sad AJ for a Styles. lot of these other people too. Like, yeah, Drake Maverick, fantastic. His run as the um, 24 seven title holder was hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and his whole thing with the Canellises, which we'll get to yeah. uh, well, so, later. So, I mean, on the AJ Styles thing specifically, right? I think that it's one of those things where you have like, um, they they must know that the fans aren't into the story. Yeah. Right, and I think that that's why they're that's why they're doing this, right? I mean, yeah. it's it's absurd because I feel like they've really been pushing this they've AJ been pushing Styles the OC, OC thing so like, super hard. hard, and then all of a sudden it's just and like, all of a what sudden they're like, fuck these guys, you know? They just flip tabled on them. Yeah, it's what? So weird. It's, it's so, so crazy. Fucking weird, dude. It's so upsetting. Yeah. All right, so here's the next set of people. So uh, Sarah Logan, yeah, uh, uh, Mike Kyoto. Billy Kidman, Mike Rotunda, Lance Storm, Gregory Helms, Scott Armstrong, Pat Buck, Sean Divari, I hope I said that right, Sarah Stock, and Eric Eric Rowan. So um, this is where I got real shook because I was like, what? Sarah Logan? Yeah. They just had, uh, what's her name? Shauna, Shauna Baszler, uh, like, stomp on her arm? Like, Monday. Today's Wednesday, right? Today's yeah. Wednesday? Yeah. Today's yeah, Wednesday. so on Monday's also, show... Also, it was... Super bullshit. 
That whole match was. That whole match was super bullshit. <laughs> but, um, you know, also Lance Storm is uh, is one of the people who works backstage with, like, new talent uh, and training and some other uh, associated duties. Honestly, I didn't even realize he was still around. <laughs> <laughs> but I was just like, damn, he's been yeah. with them for forever. Shane, uh, Gregory Helms, um, he's he's a fantastic wrestler. I saw him live and took a picture with him and was super stoked and like totally nerded out on him. It was quite embarrassing. Um, but that's really sad, too, because he's a really good dude. He's a company man, has been with them, been, been with them for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Eric Rowan. Yeah, who they, had who they, they were, had like, just, just got been done pushing promoting yeah. with like a giant spider thing. So I was that was another really surprised like, until they Eric showed Rowling. the spider. Very good story, <laughs> right? Because it's just like he has a weird mystery pet and he's super crazy about it. Um, it was it was very. I mean, I wish they had never really showed the spider. Yeah, they should have left it just because that was kind of like just like you never know what like it you is. You never know what it is. Maybe yeah. it has like a claw, like, claw. But man, like I really like Eric Rowan. They cannot find pants that fit that poor man. Oh yeah. Somebody uh, tailor him good, some goddamn he's, pants. He's a damn good wrestler. Though. Why are all of his pants giving him the worst wedgie, guys? Yeah. Especially when he wore that onesie when he was with Bray Wyatt. It was not a good look. Hashtag not loose a good look. knuckle. Moose knuckle gross. Um, <laughs> the one out of this that really surprised me the most was referee Mike Kyoto. Yeah. What? What? Mike Kyoto? Yeah. He's been with the company for like 30 years. This is so weird that they're it's doing this right so now. It's so crazy. And with and so many people with such history, like, why, like, why is any of this happening, you know? Yeah. Well, here's the last set the of last names set of that names I have that as of, you know, 630 on Black Wednesday is uh, Sarah, Sarah's, uh, oh, no, sorry, I already said that. Ha <laughs> uh, ha. Epico and Primo, Mike and Maria Canellis, Zach Ryder, No Way Jose, Andrea Listenberger, who is the writer for the Otis Mandy storyline. So that's concerning. Yeah. Uh, Diana per Diona Perrazzo and Rusev. What the fuck? Yeah. Guys. Like, okay, first, okay of all, first of all, I think Mike and Maria Canellas are on baby leave. That's especially fucked up. Yeah, that they just uh, dropped them. Primo well, and maybe, Epico? Maybe they're... Maybe they're what are they? They when they say they drop them, they're like, they're not... Like, they're on baby leave, and we talk to them, and we're just not going to pay them maternity. Ugh, or something. No. But that's... No, like, they let I feel them like go there's entirely. legal shit. I feel like they can't do that when you're on maternity leave. Like I mean, that, they're right? based out of a different state. I almost uh, said country. Oh, uh, yeah. We're in California, so, you know. Yeah. In uh, California, we're, that we're would not apply. more protected. Uh, Primo and Epico, I mean, these guys have been there for a long time. They're basically killing the, with all these, uh, with all these people being like, oh, they're basically killing all of the low card, mid card wrestlers. And uh, seeing, seeing somebody like Zack Ryder, whom I have loved since yeah. before he was even the internet champion is really devastating. Zack Ryder is such a good company man, and he's such a good wrestler. Zack Ryder is such a good wrestler, guys. Why? And there are so many bad Why wrestlers out there right McMahon now. Why doesn't like it? Right? There are so many wrestlers out there that are just doing, like, botchy shit. And, yeah, and well, and No Way just... Jose was just was just on TV wrestling, too, yeah. and he's, I mean, he's had kind of a crappy gimmick, but he's a great wrestler. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, but really the one for me that is, is Rusev. I just. Okay. <sighs> Let me talk about this Bobby Lashley, Rusev, whatever that broad's name they is. They let go of Rusev? Yeah. Rusev? First of all, he's part of an active storyline. Second of all, he's like, he's gotten like, he's lost a ton of weight and he's gotten like super jacked and shit. Yeah. Like he got all fucking, he was like all in I like fighting I think he's also weight. on that like, uh, the lady show, the one with all the ladies that Lana total, was on. Total Divas? Total Divas. Yeah. I think he's also on that. Whatever uh, it's clearly called. I don't Divas watch that show. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Rusev of all people? But I not mean, Lana. And but not, not Lana. Lashley. And also not Ronda Rousey. And for those of you that have been paying attention, Ronda Rousey said some fucked up stuff about how WWE is fake. That's why she can't handle it. Just like Brock Lesnar. Mark my like words. Any Ronda Rousey is the is person. the lady Brock Lesnar. Oh, Fuck Ronda Rousey. Lady Brock Fuck Lesner. Brock Lesnar. I cannot stand them. I do Love not Pauline. like when they take people from MMA and UFC and in and all that other fighting stuff and drop them into wrestling and just hand them titles on silver platters because they think that's gonna bring more people. Those people have not put it in their time. They should not be respected no. enough to hold those titles. No, it's, 
It's and so, I just it's I, so fucking I, absurd, man. I can't. Well, and this is the thing when you when you have somebody like okay, so fine. Let's say let's say you know let's say Kurt <laughs> Angle hasn't been doing nothing for a while. That makes sense, right? He's retired. He's doing backstage stuff, but that's primarily because they're just keeping him on the books. Maybe he's not even doing very much. Maybe he's doing like a minimal amount of backstage stuff, and he has he's really hasn't even been in the office since all this started. So they're they're like, listen, man, we're gonna let you go. Like that shit makes sense. But fucking Rusev is part of an active storyline where his wife. Wife or ex-wife are they still married question mark? bobby lashley or whatever that was like okay this is the thing but now maybe they're gonna like get a divorce and storyline so are they also gonna let go of lana are they also gonna let go of ricochet who they have been really pushing down what did ricochet do wrong man yeah he's what did he such do? a good I don't wrestler understand. What's and happening? monday night monday nights when he was he was just uh, he was just jobbing with that other guy for the tag team was yeah. just like what the fuck it's man? so disappointing yeah i, I don't know what the fucking plan with the wwe is right now and i get i get it right that they have you know all their money comes from ticket sales and you can't do ticket sales because of the apocalypse i get that right and i get that i get that like theoretically aew is like taking profit margin away from them which i'm gonna be honest with you it's not are they doing better yeah. Well, it yes. depends. It depends on the it's metric a better, you're looking it's at. It's a better yes, show. AEW, in my opinion, is a far better show. Yeah. It's got. It's got. It, AEW it's is like. It's it's aware of what the hell like it is. The ECW and it's fun. now. It's like it's only the, without the, necessarily it's being the extreme. It's ECW. But yeah. it's like it's the thing that you want to watch. Where every week you're like, oh my god, that's uh, that's really awesome, and that's also why we're filming this right before we watch AEW. We don't even watch NXT. Oh, I don't care god. about. We tried. I want to like, like three times, and I NXT, just don't fucking care. But I just Ugh. don't care. It's the work. Uh, if there's an NXT wrestling that you think is like is like banging right okay so we were a little into nxt when street profits yes but now that street profits are on the main roster yeah, and they're so dude they're street the fucking profits most are fire right now fire. i love those guys so and i love much. uh i love i love bianca yeah bianca, oh yeah the yeah, wife, yeah. The she wife? Is fantastic you oh. know what Every woman's goal, every person's goal should be should to be. get you yeah. a person who looks at you like he looks at her because Ugh. it is, yeah. it it's fills adorable. my it's heart adorable. every time. It's like, it's, you can tell that it's like a real, like, yeah. passionate relationship. No, no, the, listen, the thing is, is that is that the good ones on NXT were shifted up and, and you know, obviously dragged in some of the not as good, in my personal opinion, and then they've shifted some people down. But the thing is, is that, I, like... Who's choosing to watch NXT over yeah. AEW? Yeah, okay, fine. You want to watch NXT the next day on fucking WWE Network, or you want to record it on your TV I mean, we could do that, TV but we're lazy. We, yeah, we could. Yeah. We pay for a network so we can watch pay-per-views and some of those... Um, uh, WrestleMania 365 and, things yeah, or and whatever the, old, the fuck. Yeah, you know, documentaries and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, the but, old documentaries is ooh, probably boy. what we watch. So, um, who is the person that you were the most surprised that they let go? I mean, most surprised is probably Rusev. Just because... You know what? Let me take that back. The most surprise is that girl from Monday Night. Yeah. Um, what's what's her name? Uh, Sarah Logan. Sarah Logan. It's Sarah Logan. Because one, all right, I kind of think, like... Like it looked like she actually got injured. That like the slow mo, oh, the slow mo recap looking. of that stomp oh, was fucking man. was rough looking. And the chick that beat her, who and they're like they're like, well, she can't participate. Like like I like, don't like because the judges the uh, judges rang the bell right, and the other chick who who you know who stomped the arm is like throwing a temper tantrum over in the fucking back twenty because apparently that's how adults need to fucking act right now, right? So she's throwing a fucking temper tantrum, and the bell gets rung, and they give it to uh to logan right and then the refs and then like everybody's just like oh well that doesn't make any sense logan can't participate now her elbow's all messed up it got stomped all well i guess she stuff. can't participate at and all it's like, and, and like and like and like i got last night or, or two nights ago i should say we're watching this and i'm just like first the fuck of all all right like how is this bitch not disqualified for this like clearly heinous fucking well, act, they, right yeah. and I, I understand like logic and story right i get that but it's like it's like you, you're gonna argue that because she injured her elbow that's sort of like if i shot you i get your car and your house that's not how that works it's a yeah. fucking crime yeah you know so it's it's that thing where it was just like it was like real it seemed real dumb reasoning yeah. wise yeah and and uh the chick who beat her uh is not good just like 
full stop. She's just not good. She's fucking awful, dude. And again, she's one of those fucking MMA people or whatever the fuck they're called, right? Who, who you know, I come from the Octagon or whatever. And so they got to be these like hardcore people or whatever. But it's like, you're not, you're nowhere close to as good as the people yeah. who are who are coming up in the business. I mean, hell, you, you want a good career to start off before you go into wrestling? Do like circusry or, or, or like gymnastics or whatever. <laughs> you know, like, uh, like a circus artist. <laughs> Orchestry? Circustry. <laughs> it's probably a word. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I'm pretty certain so it's called circustry. I circus was the most surprised. Uh, it's a tie for me, really, uh, about Gallows Anderson and about Rusev. So Gallows Anderson, obviously, they are separate people. I was counting them as one. Gallows slash because Anderson. they've been working with AJ Styles. What are they going to do with AJ Styles' character now? Like his character was very entrenched in this like OC thing, Styles? and I, I I don't understand where they're gonna go with it. Not only have they really just like pushed them down, but also kept them at the top. Uh, it's it's like they keep trying to drown them and then let their head up, and then drown them and then let their head up. Yeah. So I was really surprised about that because of the primetime nature of what they've been doing for these guys. But also Rusev, he just donated a huge chunk of his own personal money to other wrestlers, or not even just wrestlers, other people that are employed by the WWE who are struggling. And yeah. I don't remember how much that was. It's either 20,000 or 200,000. I know that's a big difference, so yeah. don't quote me. But it's a big chunk of money, man. Yeah. And I haven't heard about a lot of other high echelon talent doing that kind of thing. And that really leads me to believe that Rusev is a good person. Yeah. So it's, this is, there's a lot of these people are good people that got let go. And a lot of people still at the WWE are good people. So yeah. I don't blame the talent and I don't blame any of this stuff. And honestly, I don't even blame Vince and Linda McMahon giving a ton of money to Trump's uh, super PAC um, thing, because you know what? That's their money. That's not my money. And yes, they own the company. So their money is also the company's money, but even taking politics out of it and a yeah. side of it, because getting into the politics side of that stuff, oh, is, we're not, I'm we're not, not going to, we're Maybe not going to get into day, that. But not now. Certainly. Yeah. Not now. I'm not going to no, get into that. No. It is a Today was a dark day that proved CM Punk right when he said that Vince McMahon was a bully and that he doesn't care about you. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, look up some of CM Punk's old promos before he got let go. Yeah. Uh, and it's sad when well, someone says something about the nature of a person and it ends up being true. Yeah. I, I, you know what? I, I think you're right. I think in general, this isn't... I don't even know that it's. this is like a good v bad sort of a sort of a whatever like argument it's it's just like why right why yeah. why is this having to happen i understand that you know like this is hard times for everybody and, and I, I get that part that part's easy yeah to understand, we know we get it right but uh, but the thing is 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 that like you continue to push these fucking lame stories. I mean, like, I mean, I do not care about Lashley and Lana. Do not care. Yes, like literally. Like, at all. Listen to the fucking audience. Put yeah. on a show. You, you know, if 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 he's concerned because they're not getting ticket sales at venues, then find other ways to do it. Well, right? and also perhaps you know, there, there, there may are have other been... solutions, and the, yeah. and the wrestling community as a whole right, is more than willing to, like, help as best as they can yeah. and, 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 you know, and participate in what they can. And perhaps people would have been can. willing to take cuts in pay so that wrestlers could still get paid because these people now have a very contact-driven job and they have very few areas that they can, you know, or not areas, but very few companies that they can go to to continue to make money and to be able to live because who's outside of Florida, you can't really do that anywhere. So you're yeah. not seeing, you know, gatherings of people going to indie shows and stuff like that because you can't right now. So they only have AEW and AEW has got to be like, ooh, baby. Oh, AEW uh, is probably So I hope at the AEW right picks now. up a lot yeah. of these wrestlers and even, and even a lot of the wrestlers that we haven't named. Um, they're just, you know, the ones that we named are just the ones off the top of our head that are the most impactful. But really, it's sad that literally every single one of these people was let go. Yeah. And I'm just like, why? I, I hope that this is just the equivalent of, you know, these companies that are furloughing people. And it's like, hey, listen, like, we just can't afford to pay the bills right now. So yeah. we're letting a bunch of people go. And, and then... You know, like once everything picks back up, we're gonna hire him back. And I hope so gonna too. Everything's gonna return to normal, and it's I gonna be fucking so fine. I hope that 
and you know, I, I like I don't want to sound like a conspiracy theorist or whatever. And I know that you know I'm not as as advanced a fan as as some. But but you know, from a business standpoint. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh, no, but, but but from a from a business standpoint, what I hope is that this isn't that opportunistic money grab sort of a thing where it's like we're going to cut all these staffers that we wanted to try to get rid of anyway, but now it doesn't look too bad because everybody there has a justification for it, and Vince McMahon doesn't use this or, or whoever, right? I mean, you know, and maybe maybe Vince isn't the evil one in this. Maybe you know who's talking? Maybe Triple H is. Who cares? Who knows? Right? But it's it's like it's like hopefully Vince or whomever in the company doesn't use this as an opportunity to try to manipulate things into the direction that they want, and instead figure out what the fuck the fans want because the fans are going to support you through these times thick and fucking thin you know i i feel like you know like who knows maybe aew's really causing more of a hit to them than we understand and it's like all right well you don't need to like set a table on fire and beat a guy up with a baseball bat wrapped in barbed wire right i it's, mean but like it's not I the 90s i mean match. do it that would be dope but it's like it's, it's not the 90s whatever but at the same time like it, AEW isn't isn't being like super edgy and extreme. It's just like a little bit self aware enough and cares a little bit enough about the fans mm-hmm. that it doesn't come off as like when 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 you have what was this like like three months ago or whatever you'd have like oh it's it's Bobby Lashley and Lana and and they'd be walking out and there'd be like, people would just be like yeah yeah I don't I don't care on their fucking phone down here yeah you know in the like. During the fucking match, just like I don't even fucking and care. And it's just quiet. This kind of stuff. And it's like it's like when you when you see that and like maybe that's like the hottest story and I'm dead wrong and it's something else. But still, like like you gotta adapt with the fucking fan base. Well, that's the thing that Vince is the worst at is, is he wants to tell the fans what they want and doesn't actually care what the fans are saying that they want. And this yeah. has been proven time and time again. Yeah. I'm not gonna waste my time with references for all of you hardcore wrestling fans. You'll yeah, know. You, yeah, you you get it. You'll know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I feel like that's about all that we've got to say on this, although we have a lot of words in general, in to, general say about wrestling. to say about this and other things. Yeah. So, um, you know, do that thing, do the like, do the comment, do the share, do the subscribe, yeah. click all the buttons and bells and whistles. And, uh, you know, this is our, our second wrestling thing. If you guys enjoy listening to us talk about wrestling, let us know, yeah. um, you know, if you want to keep hearing more about this or, you know, what do you want to hear? Do you want to hear about, um... You know, watching uh, watching specials like Dark Side of Wrestling or whatever, uh, or do you want to hear about like weekly recaps on stuff? Uh, well, let yeah, us we know what you want to do hear. weekly recaps, like a like a Saturday video or something like yeah. that, where where you know it's after the Monday, Wednesday, Friday stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, we could totally do something like that. And uh, for those of you that are not fans of wrestling that stuck it out this far, thank you. But why? Good on you. <laughs> good watch on some, you. Watch some wrestling. We appreciate you. Let, let me tell you, you. what. It's uh, it's good. It's, it's sort of like a telenovela, but both more and less violent. And also with like beautiful looking people. It's absurd. Yeah. It's absolutely oh, and absurd. And some mutiny looking people. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? I've also um, fun. Yeah. I've been uh, watching wrestling for like. 20 years and so many years all of the eons i was there when it began decades uh and in you know up until the time where i started watching it uh when i was just out of high school i was like i can't stand this i don't understand it i don't like it and that was um that was right at the height of uh the monday night wars and i was like i don't like it and i don't understand it and this isn't good monday night wars shut up (laughs) (laughs) listen i'm not trying to judge i'm new or to this stuff, yeah. but still, like, so dang. All right. that was at the height of the Monday Night Wars, and then I had a boyfriend in high school who was into it, and I watched it. And the first night I watched wrestling was the night that Triple H and Stephanie got married, and I was hooked, absolutely hooked. I have gone back and watched tons and tons of old matches. It is a part of my life. The wedding, and is what it, you. yeah, the wedding between the. I watched that and was just like, obviously, I need more of this in my life. (laughs) So, um, you know, if you are still watching these videos and are not a wrestling fan, uh, I would say give it a shot. Yeah. Look up. You know what, man? Just look up some of the more crazy stuff from like the the Monday Night Wars. Yeah. um, You know, and uh, what is the... um, 
Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. What is it? The oh. the Edge era, the Extreme oh, era. Oh, the Rated it? R era. Yeah, yeah. The Rated um, R era and, and that kind of stuff. Um, look up some of the more famous stories, um, like like story arches yeah. and, st- and stuff like that. I mean, hell, you know what? Everybody likes Dwayne the Rock Johnson. If you don't, that's the dork. Fuck off. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, lo- I love Dwayne. Get out of here. Uh, but but um, like, just watch his pr- some of his promos are fantastic. Yeah. That thing with the cops when they just like oh, ca- they have the hardest yeah. time keeping character because they're trying to like arrest in people. San Jose. Oh, it's yeah. so good, man. Yeah. Like well, <laughs> the old stuff's great. Like really if and and you know, my greatest recommendation especially now because we have all this time because we're trapped in our fucking houses for uh, forever. Um is now's the time to watch old stuff on WWE Network. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Or just in general, you can find a lot of oh, partial on matches YouTube. on YouTube it's, it, and it's a all over. variety of places. And for those of you that are not fans and are like, oh, wrestling's fake, um, you know what? So are movies. Full period, full end <laughs> stop. <laughs> wow. Um, I really assume that when Thanos snapped his finger, 50% of people disappeared, so... Turns out... Has- hashtag truther over I here. I mean, maybe don't, right? maybe don't speak so soon. Uh- <laughs> no, it's... Well, but the, the... It's... That's exactly what... It's like, yeah, okay, fine. Whatever. It's fake. Um, it's fake, but also, like, can you do a front flip? So... Because I can't. I mean, I get clearly a fat ass so i'm not doing i ain't doing zero i'm doing precisely zero flips <laughs> uh zero percent flipping but uh, like just watching like a, you know what watch ricochet wrestle yeah uh, watch kofi wrestle yeah you know watch some of these high flyers wrestle watch the cage matches with um uh vince's kid shane shane yeah dude some of those cage matches with shane you're like Shane's clearly just trying to hurt yeah. himself. Watch in front any of, his of dad. the tables, ladders, chairs, matches <laughs> yeah. that include yeah. the Hardys and the Dudley oh, Boys. Yeah, yeah. There's I could we could I could slash we it's could go on for so hours. Much. But heavy machinery, just <laughs> look up heavy machinery. Otis is <laughs> A fucking prince. Okay, I love okay, that man okay, so okay. much. We've, okay, we're we've gonna, done we're a lot of keep, vlog here. We're going to keep going And I have this. to make dinner before wrestling comes on. So Like, comment, share, subscribe, like, whatever comment, the fuck. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, I've been John Norgrove. This has been Wife. Uh, this was wrestling or whatever. Wee. And um, yes, uh, watch more videos, man. Yeah. Let other people know about it.